This is Mission Control Houston, uh, back with live video from the landing site. Uh, a look at Alexei Ovchinin. There is Haza Ali Al Mansouri, the crew uh, having been quickly extracted from the Soyuz vehicle that landed on its side 16 minutes ago at 5.59 a.m. Central Time, 6.59 a.m. Eastern Time. This is Mission Control Houston. All three crew members are now out of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft in their chairs uh, to uh, get their land legs back uh, for a short period of time before they're carried into the medical tent. Uh, on the scene is NASA Public Affairs Officer Gary Jordan. Gary, if you can hear me, uh, give us a, uh, a look-see at what's happening at the landing site. Rob, it's a beautiful day out here at the landing site. Perfectly clear skies and uh, sort of a brisk wind happening right now. But all the uh, otherwise, uh, a very good temperature for the crew. Uh, now just coming out of the capsule, seated uh, right in front uh, for the first time, breathing fresh air from the Earth in 203 days. Uh, I was arrived just uh, after Haza Ali al Mansouri was instructed. As you mentioned, they were extracted very quickly after the uh, Soyuz did land, uh, yeah, as you can see now, uh, positioned on its side, and the crew members were extracted from there. Lots of personnel out here, as you can probably see. Uh, everyone gathering to see the crew members who are now uh, able to talk to their families. But a lot of excitement here that's surrounding the three crew members uh, completing their journey after 203 days, coming back uh, safe and sound here in the steps of Kazakhstan on their Soyuz MS-12. Gary, uh, we are seeing uh, Alexei Ovchinin at the moment. Uh, give us a, uh, a timeline, if you will, of activities from this point until the crew uh, begins its return to Karaganda. Well, it won't be very long uh, after they are done talking to their families. You can see them in the, uh, positioned in uh, seats right in front of the capsule. Very shortly from uh, this moment, we'll be carried over to a medical tent, which, as you're looking at the crew members, uh, is to the right. Uh, I would say probably about 50 yards to the right, so relatively close uh, compared to some of the times I've seen the tent in the past. Once they're carried over to the medical tent, they'll be uh, examined uh, for their health and undergo a series of tests. Uh, Nick Haig and uh, Haza Ali al Mansouri will undergo tests called standard measures, uh, which are a subset of uh, some of the field tests that we've seen before uh, just to test the uh, astronaut's performance uh, immediately after landing uh, and getting adjusted back to Earth's gravity. Alexei Ovchinin will undergo the full field test, which is a, a longer series of tests, and that will car carry them for uh, at least more than an hour, if not more. The sun should be setting just around the time that those field tests are wrapped up and the tent is uh, deconstructed, and some of the last helicopters will uh, fly over to Karaganda. At the Karaganda airport, uh, we'll have a short uh, ceremony to celebrate uh, the three crew members coming home now and uh, uh, they'll be presented with gifts from there.